When you think of surfing, you probably think of California or Bondi Beach, but how about Lincolnshire? Well, the weather might not be great today. In fact, the beach is completely empty, no sunbathers, but it's perfect conditions for surfing. So I'm here to give it a try. The county has seen a rise in the number of people taking up the sports in the last few years. And now in the summer, there can be 30, 30 odd people in the water. I mean, it's gone up probably three, four hundred percent, I would think, in the last few years. Matt's just one of many regulars on the county's coastline. Now I've been surfing here sort of on and off the past 15 years. There was a surf club in the late 60s and I think there's probably only 10, 15 people that ever regularly surfed around Lincolnshire. But we set up the surf club in 2006 and there now there's nearly 200 people in there, 200 members in it. So Matt, I've got my wetsuit, got a surfboard, show me what you know. First thing we need to do is just lay yourself onto the board okay. and we'll uh, get the position that you need to be. Laying down flat? Laying down flat on the board. So you arch your back, little turn <laughs> and push. But it's not as easy as the experts make it out to be. It may all look like fun and games, but surfers are incredibly reliant on the weather. Not for sunny days at the beach, but for creating the best types of waves. The perfect conditions are a deep low pressure up near Scotland and Scandinavia. Northerly winds blowing straight down the North Sea for a couple of days and then the winds to dissipate. Light offshore winds here, perfect conditions. So for Matt and others like him, that means studying pressure charts and watching the weather on a daily basis. It's almost an obsession. First thing you do in the mornings, look out the window, see what the trees are doing, see what the flags are doing, to see what, wind, what the wind direction is. Always watching the weather, always looking at pressure charts. And it's these conditions which are helping to make the county an up-and-coming place for inspiring surfers. Sarah Crudus, BBC Look North, Sandylands.